Hello guys and welcome to episode number 11 now of Project Pathos. First of all, thank you very much for watching. It is much appreciated. Guys, we're in the brand new season, season number two. And we are, we've already played the Champions League and now we're going into the Europa League. But unfortunately, as you might have seen on the stream yesterday, that we actually got knocked out of the Europa League as well by FC Midtjylland. So now we're in the Europa Conference League, which is kind of the same kind of group stage. Uh, and we've got... We've we're going to be playing some great teams as well. And also, if you do win that Conference League, you then do get a place in the Europa League season after. So, it's certainly something that we're going to be trying to win, of course. It's going to be difficult, but we're going to see. Guys, as you can see as well, there is a affiliate link down below for So Rare. Now, So Rare, if you don't know what So Rare is, So Rare is like a fantasy football card game where you can buy players, you can sell players. And it's a bit like a, a an online market, really, for buying and selling players. And they use the real-life stats where they can build points. And if you sign up with my affiliate link, link if you buy the first five new signings which could be quite a lot of money to be fair so you know please take care when it comes to buying them uh, and also if you need any help then obviously you can uh, contact me in my discord or on twitter but yeah you get five free uh in fact you get a one free rare card when you get your first five cards so it's certainly something worth having a look at also as well you get 10 free common cards to start off with just to get warmed into it and stuff so yeah if you don't know what soul rare is like i said contact me if you do need any help and we will go from there guys also as well i want to say well done to lou seven who won the mitre ball on friday the the uh, the draw was actually yesterday on twitch so guys thank you very much remember if you do like what you see today hit that subscribe button it's free to do and it just gives you a bit of a notification anytime that we bring a new video out so guys let's get straight into the save so we are going to be playing two games today on today's episode now the first game is going to be against nia silamina now nia silamina are currently at the top of the table but it's very early stage we've only played one game but we is a first against second clash now and then we are going to be playing our first european conference league game against fc utrecht now i'm going to show you who we have got in the uh the conference table as you can see we have got fc utrecht of holland we have got uh, or netherlands sorry you shouldn't say holland really netherlands uh we've got victoria uh digamirez and we've also got ludogretz razgras so and uh it's it's going to be a tough it's a tough it's certainly a tough group there's no doubt about it uh but we're going to see what we can do through it and hopefully we can try and as a blackburn rovers fan hopefully i can try and meet burnley somewhere in it and try and beat him that would be pretty cool but just going back to if you didn't watch last night's stream uh, we played a lot of games in last night's stream and as you can see we have started really well there's no doubt about it we have started this season two really well of course we got knocked out the champions Qual champions league qualifying stage against rosenberg which was a very close countered uh, affair but obviously they got the away goal which helped them out uh, we obviously won a little friendly against hackness and then we went into the european champions path uh, European Europa League champions path where we beat our affiliate side Riga. Uh, we beat them six. Uh, we beat them six one on aggregate. So that was a great, uh, a great, great victory really in a two legged tie. And then we played our first Super Cup, guys, and we have won the Super Cup. So guys, let's put the old uh, trophies up and let's put another tick off the Project Pofas campaign. Um, so yeah, we, we've won another trophy, which is, you know, we've won now two trophies out of the five that we are uh, gunning for, really. So as you can see, guys, um, we then got beat off FC Midtjylland in that playoff final. So it's a bit like a playoff final to get into the, 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 the full group stage of the Europa League. So yeah, we just missed out there. Luckily, we did win that second leg. So we did win the second leg, but obviously it wasn't enough. It definitely wasn't enough. So it's a 5-2 aggregate win for FC Midtjylland. Then we went into the first seat of championship uh, game of the season and we beat Apoel 1-0. So yeah, we, we've started off, we have started the season really well. Obviously, we've been knocked out of the Champions League and the Europa League, but now we're in the Europa Conference League, which is a kind of a similar format. So yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go tell you as well about the finances very quickly. Now, of course, being in these tournaments has boosted our finance right up. We've just been given, I think, 2.6 million off the Europa League. So where it were at the beginning of September, we only had 594k income. Then we have actually boosted up at 3.6 million. So we've 
got around about 3.1 million in the bank and hopefully we're going to well 60 percent of the transfer revenue is going to be made available soon so yeah that is going to really help us to push on not just to keep winning leagues but also because we won the league in the first season which was crazy but also try and compete in for these other other trophies that obviously we want to win this project uh, just to let you know as well, there's been no more transfers come in, but they, there was a, there was a, a transfer potentially going to go out, which is Onivella Cari. Cardiff City in England wanted them, well in Wales really, but they're an English uh, English kind of football league uh, team. They wanted uh, they wanted him for two million, but Onivella we actually accepted it, but Onivella Cari rejected it. So yeah, it is what it is, guys. Let's have a quick look at the club vision. There's a couple of things that we need to kind of iron out. Of course, we failed in two um, in two incidences, which obviously are the incidents that I've told you, uh, told you, which is Champions League and the Europa League. Uh, we're currently a B B plus at the minute. We're going to obviously increase that quite soon, I think. They're devastated about signing uh, players of the under of, of the age of under twenty three for the first team. I do agree in that. I do agree with that, but also look where we are. Look at how we're doing. Look, you know, look at the look at the competition. When, you know, we just won the Super Cup. We've just won the league title in less than two seasons. So listen, I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy to be fair. So right, guys, we're gonna go into that first game anyway against uh, Nia Selimina. Uh, first against second. I know it's early stages, but let's see if we can get a victory in the first game. We will probably. Uh, uh, speed it up a little bit as well kind of cut and cut in and cut out on it um, and then we'll go into a fuller game uh, in the FC Utrecht one so guys let's get to this first game so guys this is the team that we're going against Silamina with and I've gone with this formation because I, I'm, I'm kind of going slightly defensive in the way I'm going balanced uh, compared to what we normally do where we go two up top I'm going more I'm going with one up top now I'm going with three across the middle Velikarian as an inverted winger on the left uh, uh, Tyree Stone on the right uh, as a winger of course we've got uh, Franco Tonya an absolutely fantastic player I'm very happy that we've got him on loan again from Juventus punching and panic in the middle uh, we've got many many Chem now again many Chem guys what a free signing Sam many Chem was um, let me just show you Sam many Chem again very quick 28 years old we got him from a car behind on a free this guy is playing absolutely fantastic in a minute. Uh, he really is. Uh, he's actually 7.25 overall at me in all competitions. Um, I know it's only early stages, but he is playing absolutely fantastic. If you have a look, and in fact, if you have a look at the uh, the own uh, section here, the player stats, he's got the most assists with five assists. He's got the best pass completion. And he's also won the best man of the match awards. So uh, most man of the match awards. So. Is what what a free signing he is what a free signing so guys that is a team that we're going into this game against i'm pretty happy with it very happy with it actually uh, and the first highlight does go to pathos three minutes in it goes to panic panic to zay carlos zay carlos and it's away just turn that uh, match volume down a little bit there guys because i know it's sometimes piercing here's tyree stolen tyree stolen drives in just outside that right hand post Zay Carlos again with a throw-in. They're really working on these throw-ins there on this right-hand side. Here's Varela. Varela into Bra uh, Brino. Brino. It's a bit of a weird name. Brino. So Brino is Wagner. Wagner to Osai. Osai whips it into Wagner and it's Wagner with the goal. Thomas Wagner. His second goal of the season for Silamina and it is 1-0 to the home side. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Come on, let's uh, put a little focus shout going out. A professional foul there from Jason Punchin. Zay Carlos again with a throw in from the right hand side. Comes back to Tonya. Tonya, Zay Carlos, Zay Carlos. Love little ball to Camillo Size. Size back to Punchin. It's got to be. And it is. It's Jason Punchin, guys. Get in there. Come on. Get in. Jason Punchin, guys. Who is a vice captain Punchin at the minute. Get in there. We will take that. Love little ball there from, uh, from Zay Carlos to Camillo Size. Size pulls it back. Frees the bird outside the box. Get in there, 18 yards out, punch and makes it one all just before half time. Get in there, Pathos. Bring Rushin at Burn Murphy on. Here's Menachem. Menachem just comes outside, panic to pick it up. Does he go back out to Menachem? He does. Little one two. Stefan Panic to Tonya. Tonya to Zay Carlos. Panic. Trying to work something out here. Trying to see that ball and we don't. Comes out to Wagner. Here's the break in now from Silamina. Nando Garcia to Wagner. Wagner comes out to Asai. Osai whips it in, and it's a goal, guys. It's Basama Sako. It's Basama Sam uh, Sanko, sorry. Wow. Tonya. Tonya to Rakels. Rakels gets past him. Comes inside to Stefan Panic. Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos. Finish. He does. Get in there. What a substitution. What? Well, it wasn't really a substitution. I've substitute Panos on. 
but also swapped to Panos with Zay Carlos. Put Zay Carlos more up top, and it has worked off, guys. Dennis Rakels pushed right out, right out wide there. Get in there. Zay Carlos gets past one, kind of past two, and that's a lovely finish there from Zay Carlos, guys. Get in there. It, it's looking like it's going to be a draw, and it is a draw, guys. I will take that, you know. I will take that against a very, what is potentially going to be a very good tie this season, Silvina. So, uh, guys, two all away. And you know what? We had the better of the game. We had much better of the game. To be fair, we actually should be winning with them kind of stats. But listen, guys, let's get to the first ever Europa Conference League group stage game against FC Utrecht. Guys, just to give you a little bit of bad news, uh, just before we go into the FC Utrecht game, is Tyrese Dolan is now out for around two months with a broken toe. Broken toe. Gutted. Gutted. Let's get to the next game. So guys, I've decided to change the team up quite a bit against his first, against U FC Utrecht in his first game. Uh, I've put Zay Carlos up now where we changed him before in that previous game, that draw against Silamina. And he did he did really well when he went up there and he can play up there. That's what we bought him for really. It's more as that uh, attacking, attacking right midfielder who can really whip in, be a winger, be an attacking winger. It, it can also be an inverted winger because he's quite both footed. We've gone with Tonya just behind Berrigo again. Punchin and Velikari now in the centre instead of Panic. We put Dennis Rakels on that left-hand side now, obviously swapping with Velikari. Uh, and then Menichem sides Arizuri and obviously Aurelio just behind Zay Carlos. They have a really good partnership going there. And obviously Rudko. You know what? I'm going in positive. We've got to go in positive, haven't we? You know, this is the first game. We're at home against FC Utrecht. They are favourites, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Come on, the Pathos. Let's win our first group stage game. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I've got a pretty strong side out as well. I've been looking at their uh, the report, and it's uh, it's pretty strong to be fair. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be tough. Tyrus Dole has missed it out with injury. How much of an absence will it be? Yeah, he's he's a good player. He's a good player. I think. Zay Carlos is also a good player as well. I actually think Zay Carlos is probably better than him uh, in that position, to be honest. But he's a very good player, Zay Carlos, anyway. So, guys, it's nice to see group stages. It's nice to see how many games, how many competitions we're actually in as well now. Okay, guys, we've started off a bit a bit poor, to be fair. A little encouraged shout going on. We'll still stay positive. They are, they've certainly had the better of the game. Well, possession-wise, we've had the better of the game, but they're definitely taking their opportunities. Okay, uh, first one is Menichem with the throw-in. First highlight, is it going to... Oh, it doesn't. Hey, as the goalkeeper for FC Utrecht picks up easily there. Okay, Orijore, good defending there for Orijore. Comes out to Tonya. Tonya to Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos, punching. Punching to Aurelio. Good little work. There's good little work. Aurelio picks it back up. Aurelio, put it in. Put it in then. Here's Velikari. Comes into punching. Oh, just wide, guys. Just on that left, just out, out left hand side of the post, and we have certainly picked up the game here now after a little encouraged shout. This is absolutely fantastic, guys. A little praise going out. You know what? A little praise going out. What's the green faces here? Okay, not too many green faces because we're not one the up. Like that's all because we're not winning. Okay, they uh, FC Utrecht keep it in. Can we put the pressure on here? Can we put the pressure on? Here's Bergstrom, Bergstrom to Kirk. Kirk, he's pure pace at Kirk, and it's just wide. Just wide there from FC Utrecht. They are picking up their opportunities again here, but our XG is a lot better than theirs at the minute. They're both pretty low, to be fair, but our XG is uh, oh, it's well away there from Orajore. Dennis Rakels picks it up. We'll still stay positive for a minute, guys. Definitely, we're doing okay. Well, I don't want to speak too early, but we're doing all right here. And in our first ever Europa Conference League, Game, group stage game, and it's well away there from Orajore. Zay Carlos picks it up. Pace, pace. Go on, Zay Carlos. On your bike, son. Go on, Zay Carlos. Who's inside? Who's inside? He pulls it back to Berigo. Berigo, he's in it. Franco Tonya. Yeah, let's get in there. Franco Tonya, guys, with the first ever Europa League goal, Europa Conference League goal in the group stage, and it is 1 0 Pathos, guys. What a game this is, as well, by the way. Berigo pulls it inside. Unmarked, Franco Tonya on loan from Juve. What a signing, guys. What a signing. We will take that, guys. Get in there. 1-0, kind of just before half time as well. Get in. Top of the league. We'll take that. Top of the group stage league. Here's Aurelio here with a throw in. Can we put another one on the old uh, score sheet? Here's Orajori. Orajori, sorry. Orajori that I've been told is, is pronounced. Comes into Elia. Elia, and that's a good goal. That is a good, good goal. Bit of a poor ball there for Mariora, to be fair. 
one all just for half time. That's a perfect scenario for FC Utrecht there. Guys, look at the stats. It's a, it's an undinger of a game. It's an undinger of a game. Uh, the, the our XG is actually a lot higher than theirs as well. So listen, I think we're going to be good. I think we are going to be good going into this game. Let's uh, let's get to the dressing room. It's time for everyone to dig in. Definitely without a doubt. Without a doubt, I'm pretty happy. I won't say very happy, but I'm going to say it just to try and gym up a little bit. And mostly are mostly are motivated. Mostly are motivated. Does that sound right? But anyway, uh, get in there, boys. We will take a, a one all draw into the first, one all draw into half time. Okay, let's see if we can now pull on and uh, try and get this winner. Let the encourage shout going out again. Gets whipped in and it's away. It's good defending again there from Ariori again, I think, actually. Rakel should have done better there. Minon Maye scores for FC Utrecht to make it 2 1 to the favourite to the uh, to the favourites of the game to be fair, but well that now pushes us just outside them top two. No, it was top <laughs> a minute ago. So uh, let's uh let's see what we can do here, guys. These guys are not playing well as, as well. We need to demand a little bit more. Let's let's go to attacking. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Why not? Start running defence. Come on, Paphos. Come on. Pick it up here. Pick it up. Tonya's only a seven because he scored, probably. Menichem. Menichem. We'll bring Menichem off of uh, Villian and Asilis. Berigo can also come off as well for Hepburn Murphy. Come on, boys. Come on. 80th minute. Let's not get a defeat in the first uh, first game, guys. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to go very attacking. But we are going to start going a bit more direct. Start shooting on site. Hitting the crosses early. Uh, and what we'll also do as well, we'll go two up top now as well. So we'll put Velikari on the left. Put Dennis Rakels up top with Hepburn Murphy. Uh, let's just see why that is not changing colour. Ah, because he's on the right hand side, that's why. Let's go. Okay. Punching. Right, I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's just see if we can push on here a little bit in the last six, seven minutes. Here's Silius. Silius into Rakels. Rakels, it's got to be his. It's Jason Punchin, guys. Get in. Third goal of the season for Jason Punchin. Get in there. He scored in the last game as well. Absolutely fantastic. The veteran, well, I won't say veteran, but Jason Punchin, guys. Rakels with a knock, knock on there. And with a beautiful... Crazy volley. It's Jason punching on the six yard box to make it two all. And now with them tactical changes, can we push on and get the win here? Can we push on and get the win here? It's Aurelio with a throw in. It comes in oh, and it's away. Here's Silius. Silius into size. Camillo size. Come on, boys. Do not lose this ball. We're good at the back there. Silius comes back out to Camillo size. Can he keep it? And he does. Camillo size whips it over. Oh, guys, time, time. Oh, no, they got the break. They got the break. Away. Oh, Mel. Get in there. Rudko, you little beauty. Elio, away. It's away from punching. Come on, boys. Come on. What a save, though. What a, what a point winning save was potentially. That was from Rudko. 15 minutes ago. Can we put the pressure on here? Can we? 15 seconds ago, sorry. Come on. Come on, do not let them score. Let's blow the whistle then, ref. We'll take the two all in our first Europa Conference League game. Group stage. We'll take a draw, ref. Aurelio, absolutely fantastic defending there. Take a win then. We'll have a win then. Say Carlos. Nope. Murphy. Punching. Keep it. Keep that whistle out your, out your mouth, ref. Keep it out your mouth. Punching. Get a shot off them. Punching. Never mind, guys. We will take a two all uh, draw there in our first Conference League game. Oh, well, that was a bit... Uh, that was a bit art pull parade in time. But anyway, look at the stats, guys. A very, very close-knit game there. 52%. Uh, we actually had the better overall, to be fair, uh, finally. So maybe the tactics uh, changing there actually started to work out at the end there. So, guys, absolutely fantastic. Remember, guys, it is much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, it is much appreciated, the, uh, the, the response to Project Pathos. Um, guys, thank you. That's all I can say. As you can see, guys, as well, remember to... Have a little go so rare. And remember, guys, don't go into it uh, without knowing what to do, uh, like I did and just uh, got a bit silly. But, yeah, just make sure that you uh, kind of gambling in a way. Gamble responsibly. Uh, it's not really gambling in a way. It's kind of control gambling, shall we say. So, guys, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And remember, on Friday's episode, we're going to be streaming tomorrow on Thursday on Twitch. And on Friday, we're doing another giveaway. Guys, thank you very much again. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.